Hey, what it do, y'all? It's your boy G, and I'm back with another video. And yeah, to all my returning viewers, hey, much appreciation, yo. You know, we gonna keep it coming. We gonna stay rocking out, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, to all my new viewers, hey, stick around, like, and subscribe, and uh, yeah. We got a good one today. We got quarantine collard greens. Yes, sir. Quarantine collard greens. I'm gonna show y'all how to get jiggy in the kitchen, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, of course, you gotta have your seasonings on point. You know what I'm saying? All you really need is seasoned salt and uh, beef base. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, gotta have your collard greens as well. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Get real busy in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Why not even have a, a Bluetooth speaker? You know what I'm saying? To get jiggy. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, we want a nice size pot so we can boil our food in. You know what I'm saying? We want to uh, grab some meats at the store, per se. Uh, ham hocks, ham shanks, neck bones, or even or even turkey necks if you can't get any neck bones you know what i'm saying i got turkey necks this time because i couldn't find neck bones but come to find out it wasn't too bad still came out pretty good so yeah you want to um boil your meat for a good hour you want to season that water real good and just let that flavor boil into the meat for a smooth hour set your stove for an hour you know what i'm saying you follow these times you're gonna have a smacking dish yo collard green dish with the, the meaty savory flavor and uh yeah make sure you make you some cornbread on the side because yeah that's just it's just really gonna set the whole shebang off so yeah let that meat boil for about an hour season it up real well and uh you know while in between times of letting it boil you know what i'm saying Go ahead and party it up in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get busy. Have some fun. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and let that ball. We're going to be right back. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going too far. We're going to be right here in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? What's a good soul dish without some soulful music? You know what I'm saying? As it boil, you know what I'm saying? Drop a little bit more season in there from here and there. Not too much, just a little bit. You know. And then uh after that hour, you want to go ahead and take the meat out, set it to the side, put it in the pan, you know what I'm saying, and prepare the pot for the greens, you know what I'm saying? Take the meat out, set it to the side, leave that water in which you just boiled the meat in and just add more water to it to cook the greens in. And it just helps flavor the greens even more. You know what I'm saying? Just that good natural uh, water from boiling the meat. You know what I'm saying? Flavorizing meat with that water. Use that same water, just add more water to it. Okay? And uh, not too much, because you don't want the pot to be overflowing once you do put your greens in. But just enough, though. You know what I'm saying? If you do have too much, just use a cup to kind of, you know, uh, take some of the water out. You know what I'm saying? And pour it wherever, in the toilet or 
pour it in the sink or outside, wherever you want to. And uh, make sure you most definitely always wash your hands, especially if you, you know what I'm saying, you quarantining COVID in the house, you want to wash them hands, even without, just wash them hands, you know what I'm saying? You a cook, you a cooker, keep them hands clean, yo. And uh, yeah, go ahead and get to cleaning them greens and uh, washing them down real good. And then go ahead and start breaking them up. See, I'm the type that I cook the stems right off the greens with it. You know what I'm saying? I like the stem. I don't know why it seems like most people don't eat the stem, but uh, if you eat stems with your collard greens, man, drop a like on this baby. And most definitely get in the comments and let me know if you 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 do the stems. Cause I swear the stems is like, that's the crunchy, the crunchy part of the whole, of the whole shebang for real. And hey, hey, everybody love a little crunch and they munch, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, keep them, keep them stems, you know what I'm saying? And then once you're done, wherever you got three bundles, you know what I'm saying? I got like a medium sized pot. I, 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 I'm going to give me a fatter pot because literally once my greens are gone, I'll be sad. And I know if I had a bigger pot, it'd be better. So yeah, slap your mama seasoning if you want to use some sloppy mama don't overdo it too much because it is spicy you know what i'm saying just a little dabble is enough really just a little dabble and uh yeah go ahead and put the greens in break them up real good you ain't got to break them up too fine but pretty you know break them up pretty good and then go ahead and drop it in there and go ahead and drop some more seasoning on top stir it in real good you know stir it in and then go ahead and set your oven for another hour and let that let that boil for an hour you know what i'm saying let that water and them flavors go ahead and get in the greens and tenderize you know what i'm saying get in there nice and deep let that flavor really sink into it real good you know what i'm saying like really you don't really need many seasonings for your collard greens to come out smacking because the meat is going to really flavor it and then how you just a couple of seasons that I'm telling you to use while boiling the meat is really gonna make them greens hit. So, yeah, let that sit for another hour and uh, yeah, we're gonna be back. Go ahead and uh, break, break for an hour, do whatever, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna be back. Never had 
Once your greens is done boiling for a good hour, then uh, yeah, last step is to go ahead and insert that meat back into the greens and let it all boil for one more hour, the last third hour. Don't be scared to let it boil. Just let it all boil and cook together, y'all. And uh, you don't want too much juice in it, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you, you, it's all right to just let the water, you know what I'm saying, all the juices be in there. It's okay. Because at the end, it's all going to just finish out just right, you know what I'm saying. And uh, when you go to store it in your refrigerator at night or whatever, it's going to be uh, probably an excess amount of juice, though. But when you go to really warm it up, if you want to just pour some out your bowl because you don't want that much juice, then, then, then do so. But... I keep mine with all the juice in the pot, and I just, you know, throw it in the refrigerator. Hey, it's all good, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, you gotta have the cornbread, yo. Got to have the cornbread. The cornbread just makes the greens and all of it just come together for a circle and taste good, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, some of the best greens that you gonna make if you follow these instructions, y'all. I mean, just, I mean, unforgettable. I mean, something that you probably gonna make twice a month fucking around with this recipe, y'all. All you need is the beef base, season salt, and if you want some, some onion seasoning, ain't nothing wrong with that as well. And yeah, you want to make sure you hit your your, uh, your African tribal dances in the kitchen over that pot to give it the extra flavor. Gotta have it, yo. And yeah, quarantine collard greens. That's all you gotta do, y'all. Three-hour process. Chill out, you know what I'm saying? Or get busy, get jiggy, you know what I'm saying? And boil that meat, boil them greens, you know what I'm saying? And then boil it all together that last hour. And, uh, oh my God, you gonna be in for a meal, yo. Get that cornbread on the mo on the roll. Get that cornbread on. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna be all she wrote. This you ain't gonna ever, ever stop making. Collard greens, yo. Good soul food. And, yeah, that's it, y'all. If you like the video, go ahead and drop a like. Go ahead and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, stick around. Because, uh, yeah. We gonna be back. Yeah, we gonna be back.